getting there. <laughs> Hey, everybody, we are so glad to have you join us live today. We are here using StreamYard, so we would love to have your comments, but we won't be able to see them unless you grant StreamYard permission, so please do that. I am Louise Pistol, and we're going to spend the month of November talking about gratitude, and I want to welcome another gratitude expert, Carolyn <laughs> Warren, thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Uh, I am so excited to be with you today, Louise, and I really do appreciate the work that you're doing and the journals that you've put out. I've uh, been following you on Facebook, so you're doing a fantastic job. Oh, thank you. Thank you. November is National Gratitude Month, and my way of recognizing that was to give away four copies of one of my books where this one is if i can get it with the camera experiencing joy through gratitude and we'll talk a little bit more about that but what the way it's working is on mondays in my facebook group discover your joyful light i am asking a gratitude question every monday mm. And then of everybody that answers the question, we're going to draw a name. Actually, my granddaughter is choosing a name to win a copy of the book. So we'll get back to that. But let's talk about gratitude just a little bit. First, Carolyn, just tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. Well, I am an author. And I've um, published uh, um, really three three books, um, and so that is uh, something that is I've become really passionate about, about in the last couple of years. I am also an empowerment and leadership coach, and I'm passionate about helping women to. Um, live extraordinary lives to address those internal and external uh, barriers that may come up and uh, really finding the harmony in life where they are able to be successful in their spirit, soul, and body. And many times we are focused on our careers or we're focused on families or our spiritual lives, but I believe it's available for us to live a whole life. And that means uh, yeah, I don't really like to call it balance. I like to call it harmony because on any given day, you may need to just spend a little bit more time in one area of your life than the other. And then that brings that uh, a, a synergy that, so that uh, you're able to be successful and be extraordinary, which I think is available to all of us. Absolutely. Now, I did hear you mention earlier, not today, mm -hmm. that you have a self-care journal and that gratitude is one of your tips in there. Yes. yes. <laughs> this is my self-care journal. And um, tip number nine is being grateful. So in the journal I give the reader uh, 10 principles or 10 keys that they can incorporate on any given day in order to sort of realign themselves and make sure that they are taking care of themselves. And gratitude is, is very important for me. I am uh, considered to be a positive person, an optimist, if you will. And I believe that sets, um, having a spirit of gratitude sort of sets the stage of uh, being able to accomplish your goals and live a life that really is fulfilling. And it doesn't mean that everything goes well or that, you know, there's never a bad day, but I've found that it is the quickest way to get back on track. And so, you know, I, every day I try to think of something that I can be grateful for. And right now, uh, one of the things I'm being grateful for, sometimes I think it's, we should 
focus in on the little things. I am focusing in on the sunsets here in the Sar Sarasota area. So I've been taking pictures of sunsets and it just brings joy to my heart. <laughs> and so um, if you want to do a quick reset, I believe gratitude is one of the quickest ways to do it. I think you're right, Carolyn. And, and in my books, I have said that gratitude is your pathway to joy. Yes. And, and that is, in essence, the same thing that you're mm -hmm. saying is that you're resetting and when we reset i do believe that brings us back to our inner joy yes yes and i think you know one thing that i've seen also is that uh, i often say that it's really hard to be depressed or down and be grateful at the same time and so when we are grateful all of a sudden we repositioned our thought process, our mindset, and now we see possibilities that we couldn't see previously. Um, you know, all of a sudden there is a smile on your face uh, because you saw a sunset or because you saw, you know, a, a cute dog video on, on social media. Uh, and so everything now takes on a new level of excitement for the life that we are living. Um, if I could just sort of uh, interject for a moment, you know, I am really grateful. One of the things that I'm really grateful for is my family. And of course, you know, we all have family and, you know, we love our grandkids and great grandkids. But this uh, period of time in my life is really so important because uh, my mother recently turned uh, 102. And one of the things that she prayed for as a little girl. And, you know, as we were growing up, we heard this story of her praying for four children. She wanted a family. She wanted two boys and two girls. And that's what she got. And she just thinks that God is so good because he gave her two boys and two girls. But the thing now is that my family is a part of her legacy. And so in July, we got together for the 4th of July and there were five generations, five generations represented just because this one person prayed as a little child for a family. So I feel a responsibility to continue the legacy. So every day I remember, I try to remember God, I'm thankful that I am part of this legacy. And then also, what is it that I need to do what actions now do I need to take in order to continue this legacy? And so now I'm even praying for my great grandchildren, that they will continue this family legacy that started, you know, 90 years ago. So, so yeah, all because of someone was grateful and, and you know, to God and felt that he was going to answer her prayer. That is beautiful. But now let me ask you, now you recently relocated. Mm -hmm. So now mm -hmm. are you closer to family? I mean, physically closer to family now? No, actually we are further away. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, but um, thank God for uh, social media, for Zoom and, and, you know, all these other things where we can can uh, stay in, in touch with one another. So, you know, I'm always, um, you know, calling my mom and checking on her. And uh, she is just, has always been a pivotal person in my life. And in my book, The, uh, the Women at the Table, she's one of the women that I, I um, share the impact of her life on my life. And uh, she has been really a model of gratitude. You know, she is 102. Uh, she's got bad knees, so she, you know, uses a wheelchair. But any day that I talk to her, she is giving God thanks. She's so excited about living. And in fact, um, recently she went to the midnight movie with <laughs> some of her grandkids. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and, um, I, you know, I am from uh, uh, Columbus, Ohio, and I had a brother that was there. So I moved to Sarasota and my brother retired. So he's moving back to our home 
uh, in uh, Charleston, West Virginia. And so he bought this house next to him. And so my mom is moving into a new house oh my next God. month. <laughs> At and 102 so, years at old? At 102. <laughs> and so, you know, she is just, uh, because of her life, her her uh, mindset, her gratitude, it has just changed my mind about what it means to age, what it means to get older. And so now 102, I mean, you can go to the movies at night, you can, you know, oh, go in wow. a new home or whatever. And she's oh, just been such a um, a testimony of trusting God, pray, believing in prayer, and doing your very best to live a life that would represent Jesus Christ. That is beautiful, Carol, and that is beautiful. And you are certainly following in her footsteps. I'm trying. <laughs> Sometimes when my energy level's a little low, a low, I'm thinking, okay, if she can go to the midnight movie, I need to be able to get through this. There you go. Well, you know what? We've got a book to give away. But okay. before we do that, I do want to ask you one more question. Do you have a favorite quote or Bible verse around gratitude that you would like to share with us today? You know, I, I have a quote, but uh, just today I thought about a section of scripture that really, I think, helps me to, um, is more representative of who I am. And it is in Second um, Kings 4.23, and it's the Shunammite woman who, um, uh, you know, whose son ends up dying. And her husband, you know, she decides that, you know, her, her son is, is, appears to be dead. So she's going to go to the man of God and, you know, hopefully he will be able to resurrect him. So her husband says, okay, why are you going? Why are you going? And she, her response is, it is well. I believe that that is what gratitude is all about. Taking the position that no matter what I see, no matter what is going on in my life, no matter how chaotic and inadequate I feel, it is well. And so I believe that when you say it is well, when you take that position, then possibilities come up. And I believe that because she made that statement, then, you know, she saw that her possibility or healing her, her, um, uh, the transformation that needed to take place in her son was in the, the man of God, the prophet. And so um, that's my section of scripture, you know, that it is well. It and is. we start that. Mm -hmm. Well, I like that. And I appreciate you sharing that with us. So let's talk about giving away a book. Now. <laughs> okay. So, and I showed you experiencing joy through gratitude. I'll try to open it up and show you a page. Let's see if I get this. So there, mm -hmm. it's a weekly book, and there is um, a, a weekly inspiration. And then there's enough lines here where you can write three things a day for every day that week that you're grateful for. So it is not something that takes a lot of time. It's something you can integrate with your other devotionals in the morning type thing but my granddaughter chose a name for me <laughs> out of all the people that responded and our winner this week is Dawn Lagrasse and I may not be saying that right but she'll know who it is and I will reach out to Dawn and let her know that she is one I want to encourage all the listeners if you are not in the Facebook group, to get mm -hmm. in it by Monday. And then on Monday, there'll be a new question. And it will, again, be about gratitude. And then we'll choose a new winner next week. But before we go, Carolyn, please let our listeners know how they can connect with you. Uh, your listeners <laughs> can connect with me. Uh, my um, website is Carolyn a warren.com real easy uh they can send me an email at carolyn at carolyn a warren.com 
and then all of my books and resources are available on Amazon. So uh, I've got um, uh, my uh, book, The Women at the Table, the self-care journal for successful women. And then uh, recently I published a prayer journal for women. Well, I specifically, I have read your book, Women at the Table, mm -hmm. and actually when uh, a friend saw me with it, she asked to borrow it so she could read it also. Oh, wonderful. Yes, <laughs> and I am really interested in both your self-care journal and your prayer journal, but I think that is all for today. Yeah. We will be back here next week. Next week, we're going to do the giveaway Tuesday afternoon at four. So be sure to get the Monday question answered Monday or early on Tuesday. And we will choose another winner. Thank you, Carolyn, for being here. And thank you, listeners. And until next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>